Very quickly, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Messy Modding Store. His link will be down in the description below if you want to go check him out. Uh, he basically offers all kinds of different like XP services or money services in in video games like GTA or Call of Duty, uh, Fortnite. There's skin stuff. There, there's a bunch of stuff. You can go check it out if you want to. If you don't, then it's fine. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Hey guys, the better editor. I'm coming at you guys with a solo money and XP glitch in the game of Red Dead Online. And uh, Merry Christmas to you all. This video should be going up around 9 p.m., 9.30 p.m. on your Christmas night. Um, I hope you had a good one. Hope you got what you wanted if you got gifts. If you didn't, then just be thankful you're alive. And hopefully you ate some good food. And here we are right here. We're going to do Coulter again. I know I just did Coulter in my past couple videos ago. But it's been it's been a couple... Well, it's been almost a week or so. Uh, and it's snowing in Coulter all the time, so it's fitting for the Christmas mood. And also, you'll... Financially, this place is pretty damn good all the time, so... But today, we got all the seven things we're going to grab here, but then we also have a fossil. And the fossil uh, could potentially be worth in the 20 plus dollar range. And right there is going to be its spawn point. Uh, but we cannot grab that just yet. I mean, we can if we wanted to, but we're not going to. We're going to get these uh, things here first, which in today, or on today, only one card is here, and that's the one in this house. But if you do the little find new session trick that we do in these videos, um, a bunch more things are going to spawn, and I'll show you exactly where they are, and then we'll grab the fossil as the finale. So it's very simple. All you need to do is uh, go to like the T in the road here, press pause, go to online, and find a new free roam session. That's all you need to do for that, and that's going to force spawn all those items in so you can grab them all. Um, and on the PlayStation platform, you can do this one time per 24 hours. On the Xbox and PC, you can do this unlimitedly. Uh, but on the Xbox, you would come here, find new session, collect everything, close your application, and then clear your reserve space, Red Dead 2. If you don't know how to do that, give that a Google. Uh, on the PC, you would come here, find new session, collect everything, close your app, um, and then you would clear out your temp folder, and then you would load back in the game, and then everything should be back. But like I said, on the PlayStation, you can only do this one time per 24 hours. Um, I still don't know of a way, um, as of my knowledge, to make the items respawn on PlayStation. Um, that's on both PS4 and PS5, and this footage is being done on PS5. Alrighty, so we spawned back in, and I'm at the south part of Coulter. So I'm going to show you from bottom to top all the items at Coulter. And I'll show you on the map where I am, if you can't tell from the mini-map. We're here. I could go get the fossil first, but I said we're going to do that last. This building right here will contain two collectibles. So we're going to go get those two right now. So whenever you go over here, there's like this garage looking area. Inside of here, there is going to be a card on this little fireplace thingy. You can go ahead and grab that. And then go to the left hand side of the building. There's going to be double doors here. And there's going to be three hay bales. On top of those hay bales is going to be another card. You can go ahead and pick that up. And then we're going to go this way. There's this little house right here. And this is the card that's actually supposed to be here today. We're going to go through the front door, and there's going to be a card sitting on this table. Now, uh, once you grab that, then you can go out of the door to the left. There's going to be this bigger house here. There's going to be two things in here. An alcohol bottle right here called Caribbean Rum. Go ahead and pick that up. And then if you go this way, um, right here on this uh, table, I don't know what you'd call this wardrobe thingy, uh, rosewood hairbrush right there, so a family heirloom. And then you can go this direction, and then you can open up this door. And way at the back on this uh, table here, there's going to be a card. There's one more item that we're going to grab before the fossil. And you're just going to immediately go right as soon as you go out the door. And then past this little place, and then this dilapidated looking church building here, there's going to be a card sitting right there on the windowsill. It might be a little hard to see because of the snow, but there you go. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and call Mr. Horsey, if I can get him to come here. And there he is. And in one of my most recent videos, I did say that you can, um, if you hold R1 and then press square, your horse will do that thing. And then you can actually, like, full sprint on the snow. You won't have to, like, do the slow sprint, uh, just in case you didn't know that. It's a little good tidbit of information. And then you can go up here. Now, it will reset itself after a while but you can just do it again and it'll go straight back to working. Right here is where the uh, fossil spawns. You can go ahead and dig that up. I, I stood right on the money before I even pulled the metal detector out. Now you'll get a random fossil, so you could get one that's not worth as much or you could get one that's worth a buku. 
it's up for the game to decide. But yeah, that's it for the video. If you guys did enjoy it, then drop it a like. If you did not like it, and drop it a dislike. Once again, Merry Christmas to you guys. Happy New Year's as well. Uh, but I should be having a few more videos drop by then, so I'll be able to say that again. I, I said the like, and, and did I say the sub thing? If you haven't subbed already, please consider subscribing. We're on our way to uh, 36.3K, uh, which is cool. And then once we hit that 37, we'll be on our way to 38, and then 39, and then 40. I don't know if we'll ever hit that 40, but it'd be nice. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. I ain't got no more talking.